Hello Minecraft fans, today I want to uh, talk about Glowstone and Redstone and Glowstone has a unique feature where it will uh, allow you to put wire on it and just to show you how unique it is let's just place down a piston and let's extend it and let's trick it down uh, take down this block underneath and you can see this wire is going through this piston uh, this extended piston arm and continuing down uh, into this hole. How does it work? Because this piston arm is a transparent block. Not only the piston arm, but for example if I take a piece of glass, that is also considered a transparent block. So you can put your wire through a piece of uh, glass and it will still continue. So you can also do this with glowstone. But glowstone has another feature. I'm gonna go quite over here. You can place redstone on a piece of glowstone. And you can activate that wire like this and it will go in two ways. It will split up here. It will go underneath the glowstone because the glowstone is considered a transparent block. But it will also go up the glowstone and just go over. And you can even uh, make this wire go infinit uh, up in to infinity by just keeping uh, keep putting glowstone on here and placing wire on here and this will transfer uh, the signal as high as you want unless uh, you run out of uh, blocks because you still have the 15 blocks uh, limit that glowstone can go but uh, now what can we do with this setup for example let me demonstrate right over here let's place a torch right on this line and on this line and on this line and you see this piston will uh, just power this level and it will power this level. It will power two levels at the same time. Uh, this redstone torch I meant. So yeah, another feature is that this power doesn't go down because it goes through this cobblestone block. And a co cobblestone block is considered a full block. So the power doesn't go through that block. And you see that will make sure that you can only activate two platforms at a certain uh, specific moment. And you can use this design if you place uh, your redstone in a zigzag uh, signal line like this. Like every block uh, turns on and the next turns off. And the cool thing about that is that um, you can repeat this and power every level that is a bit higher. Uh, I really suck at explaining this, but I made this something like this right over here. You can see how it works. And it's actually so fast that I had to place down some note blocks to demonstrate it. But uh, this uh, signal goes to the bottom. It turns on this level. Then it will uh, take a tick. And then uh, the next tick will uh, turn on that level. Then after another tick... Uh, the second tick will turn on this level again so every level is just in two ticks in between and now let's go to something practical where we put it to use I use this uh, trick right over here in uh, the design that uh, Ito showed lately which is a really fast piston elevator and I just made the wire go over and over and you can see every uh, it's a little bit hard to see but this is the first level and let's just turn that level on for now by removing this starts you see this level turns on and also this level turns on so let's get rid of this starts you can see only these two levels are turned on but you can activate this whole uh, piston elevator by just using uh, this glowstone contraption and a zigzag line of uh, redstone torches so let's just uh, go in there and let's demonstrate and it's just as fast as Ito's design which will take you in about 13 uh, seconds from uh, bedrock to about 128 because that's no longer sky limit so I guess it will take you into the sky limit in about 26 seconds which is still really really fast it's faster than just flying up in creative mode and another cool feature with this design is that you can manipulate how high you want this uh, to go by just uh, placing a line over here and keeping it powered so this torch will stay turned off even if this torch turns off. So yeah, 
you can manipulate this design and if you for example uh, yeah I think you have to go right over here and you place a sticky piston take out this block you can see what happens uh, the slime will just go over here and will stop there so you can just really easily make a floor selection by uh, doing that and it will take up almost no space at all you just have to connect this with a sticky piston and connect it towards here to this line and make that turn on so yeah that's basically all you need to do for that and I'm really excited about this new feature um, I'm gonna make a tutorial for how you make this piston elevator uh, just in a few hours so yeah it's probably uploading already once you can see this video and yeah I wanna conclude this uh, concept today um, yeah just uh, wait for the for the tutorial to come up and have a nice day see you later goodbye oh yes